Delhi government has hit back at the Lieutenant Governor. Now, Deputy Chief Minister has written to the LG asking him to mention the relevant laws and provisions which empower him to directly interfere or appoint officials in Delhi. In the letter, the government has written that uh, this issue has been raised before as well and uh, we cannot adhere to the said decisions is what this letter states. Please inform us the relevant provisions and laws which entitle you to directly interfere and send daily orders to the government is what the Deputy Chief Minister says in the letter. Ankit Tyagi is now joining us with more details on that. Ankit, does this letter also state the provisions under which the Delhi government is entitled to choose its own bureaucrats? Absolutely. In fact, the letter war between the Lieutenant Governor and uh, the Delhi government continues while uh, the uh, stalemate uh, uh, still on. Now, after the Lieutenant Governor uh, had issued orders cancelling all appointments and transfers done by the Delhi government, uh, and then he had, in fact, sent a clarification uh, saying that, they, they, uh, uh, you know, mentioning provisions uh, say that he has direct authority to do so, mm. the Delhi government once again hit, has hit back. They are saying that under the NCT Act, under the Constitution, and also under uh, uh, under the uh, the business transaction provision of 1993, yes. Lieutenant Governor only can work on the aid and advice of the Chief Minister. Can mm. so moto take these decisions? So they have challenged Lieutenant Governor, asking him to mention the provisions under which he can directly send orders to okay. the Delhi Governor uh, government officers. All right, Ankit, stay with us uh, because we have some inside track of what is happening uh, as far as the bureaucrats are concerned and their concerns. In fact, in a meeting with the Delhi government today, the Delhi officials and several of them raised their voice of the kind of treatment that uh, they are getting and shared how humiliating it is for them. A few officers also raised the issue of the kind of treatment they are getting with uh, the Delhi Chief Secretary KK Sharma. Officers said that in several important issues, procedures suggest that they are supposed to consult and get proper approval from the Delhi Lieutenant Governor. During the meeting, the Delhi government assured that they would try to follow the norms which means the established norms. Ankit, clearly the officers in this case are feeling or rather bearing the brunt of the fight between the chief minister and the lieutenant governor. Today, they have raised their voice, but uh, what is the sentiment that you are getting from the officers? Because we understand that many of them are now uncomfortable working in Delhi. Uh, you know, uh, although the government of Delhi has completely denied this uh, story of uh, officers of applying for mass leaves, that has completely denied by the Delhi government. They have said that no uh, applications have been received by them as of now. But there is no denying the fact that many officers are in fact uh, in uh, Delhi. They are caught between the fight of the Lieutenant Governor and the Chief Minister's office. And they in fact feel that they are being used as pawns in this entire battle. Okay. Something that is not uh, going down well with the officers. Okay. They believe that it's their career on stake, mm -hmm. and uh, most of them uh, would want a political certainty right. uh, and chain of command to be made clear so that they can function properly. Absolutely. Ankit Yagi, many thanks for getting us those details.